What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and in this video I'm going to be comparing the specs and features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 to the iPhone 6 Plus. So Apple announced two devices today, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, larger devices compared to what they usually have. And the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 should be coming soon, was just announced last week. And uh, Samsung are sort of the leaders in this sort of form factor. They are the ones who came up with the initial Note device and really popularized this larger screen format. Apple have always been on the side of smaller screens, but they've gone against that now and they can see the potential of the larger screens. And we've got the iPhone 6 Plus. So these two are gonna be going head to head, but what are the key differences in specs and features? Well, do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out. Now, initially looking at the size differences, the iPhone 6 Plus is actually a bit taller, 4.6 millimeters taller compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And it's roughly about 0.8 millimeters small in terms of width, and also 1.4 millimeters smaller in terms of the thickness. So it's quite a thin device but still quite tall. Now, looking at the size differences in screen, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 5.7 inch display, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus has a 5.5 inch display. So although the Note 4 has a, a larger display, it's actually shorter compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. And it's not that much bigger in terms of with just 0.8 millimeters, so not even a four millimeter. Yes, the iPhone 6 Plus is quite a bit thinner. So this is definitely something to bear in mind with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 that you're actually getting a larger screen on a smaller device in terms of height. Now, in terms of the differences in displays, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a Super AMOLED display, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus has a backlit LED IPS display. Now, this will come down to personal preference. Both are very, very good displays based on their previous models. They are very, very good. Definitely some of the best in the market out there at the moment. So I don't think you can go wrong with either. Now, in terms of the resolution, the iPhone 6 Plus has a 1080p resolution. So that's 1920 by 1080 works out to roughly about 401 ppi pixel density i'm actually glad that they went for a standard screen resolution here because usually they go for something random i mean the iphone 6 is one three three four by 750 very very random there so that the fact that they've gone for a standard resolution here is absolutely great but the samsung galaxy note 4 definitely has an advantage here because it has a quad hd display so that's 2560 by 1440 so the advantage of resolution definitely goes to the samsung galaxy note 4 here you've got many more pixels and also in terms of pixels per inch 515 versus about 401 so uh, a big advantage here that you've got on the samsung galaxy note 4 now looking at the weight, there's just four grams in between them. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 comes in four grams heavier compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. So not much between them whatsoever. Both of them have a premium build. You could say the iPhone 6 has a metal body. So it's a full metal uni body. And this has been known to be premium. Apple devices have been known to be quite premium. They look and feel really, really good. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4, they also have a metal frame. So they've gone for a metal frame here to go for that premium factor. But you've got a soft touch plastic back. So this is a textured soft touch back. What this allows you to do is remove the back. So you've got access to removable storage as well as a removable battery, which we'll be talking about a little bit later, but it's not fully aluminum. So it's not fully metal but uh, you do have the soft touch back, which feels quite nice in the hands. So now this is gonna come down to personal preference, which one you prefer. I would classify both as a premium. Now looking at the internals, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has some of the latest specs. You've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor that's clocked at 2.7 gigahertz quad core. And you've also got the Adreno 420 GPU. So in terms of Android devices, this is right now at the top. And this is the best specs that you can find right now. The Apple iPhone 6 Plus has the 64-bit chip, so it's the A8 processor this time. They've not specified the clock speed or anything as yet, so we're not too sure about that right now. And you've also got the M8 motion coprocessor, which is gonna be mo measuring motion data without waking up the main CPU. Now, we are gonna have to put these side by side in terms of performance. In terms of RAM, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has three gigabytes of RAM. The Apple iPhone 6 Plus, they've not specified how much RAM you've got here. It's probably gonna be between one to two gigabytes definitely won't be three gigabytes. This is something uh, that Apple have uh, not specified as yet. In terms of the different storage versions available, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, you've got it in the 32 gig version. They've not mentioned a 64 gig version as yet. We may be getting one uh, later on. With the 6 Plus, you've got 16, 64, and 128 gig. So they've ditched the 32 gig version. You don't have a 32 gig version iPhone anymore. And these will be at their different prices. So uh, you've got a few more options 
storage here on the iPhone 6 Plus compared to the Note 4, but the Note 4 has expandable storage, so you can simply pop it in a micro SD card and really expand that storage. You can't do this with the iPhone 6 Plus. You are stuck with the storage that you've got. And moving on to the cameras, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 16 megapixel refacing camera. The iPhone 6 Plus has an 8 megapixel refacing camera, so the resolution advantage definitely goes to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Both of these use phase detection autofocus, so it'll be nice to put these side by side. So it's going to have a very, very quick autofocus on both devices, no doubt about that. And both of these devices also have optical image stabilization. So not digital, optical image stabilization. This is the first on both Apple side as well as Samsung side. So it's great to see that we've got this here. This should provide lots of stable video as well as motion free Free images and a better low light performance. Now the iPhone 6 Plus also has a dual LED flash so that's uh, two uh, different flashes that will fire off in different combinations so you've got one white and one amber and this will uh, give you some better skin tones whereas uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5 has its own features so you've got real-time HDR for example you've also got a feature to selective focus where you can blur out the background these features have been carried over from the Samsung Galaxy S5 now, in terms of video the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 can film up to 4k so that's 2160p absolutely insane having that resolution on a smartphone and you've also got 720p at up to 120 frames a second now with the iphone 6 plus you've got 1080p at 60 frames a second so you don't have 4k this is something we wouldn't have expected apple to have anyway but you've got 720p at 240 frames a second so super slow-mo this is absolutely awesome i'm really really looking forward to checking this out the 120 frames a second on the iPhone 5S was absolutely great. And the software that was with it as well was absolutely great because you could slow down just parts of it. It's not like you're just filming a slow motion video. You could select which parts you wanted slow motion and you could get some really, really nice results. But now you've got up to 240 frames a second, which is absolutely great. Really, really looking forward to checking that out. Now in terms of the front facing cameras, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 3.7 megapixel front facing camera. Samsung have definitely been pushing on the front facing camera side. I mean, with the Note 3, everyone's seen that famous Oscar selfie which went viral on Twitter the most retweeted tweet of all time so a big emphasis here on selfies now the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 also films at 1080p HD from the front-facing camera and it's also supposed to be 60% brighter compared to the previous model you've also got a wide selfie mode where you can sort of use it as a panorama and get in a lot more people now with the iPhone 6 plus they've still got a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera capable of filming 720p HD now this is supposed to be a lot better in low light, 81% better compared to the previous model, which is great, low light from the front facing camera is great, but still at that resolution, that 1.2 megapixel resolution, and it's still at 720p. Personally for me, this is a bit of a disappointment. We'll have to put these side by side, but the Note 4 definitely gets the edge here in terms of that resolution. Now looking at the operating systems, you've got Android Kick at 4.4.4, so that's the latest version that's gonna come out of the box on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, but it does come with the TouchWiz UI on top. So Samsung's TouchWiz UI on top, which has its own features and benefits, some of which we'll be talking about a little bit later, but it also means that you're not gonna be getting updates directly from Google. You're gonna to have to wait for Samsung to put those through. With the Apple iPhone 6 Plus, you've got iOS 8, so that's the latest version, and you are gonna be getting all of the latest updates directly from Apple. In terms of which one's better, that's gonna come down to personal preference. I'm not gonna go into an Android or Apple war here. I never do in these videos. Now moving on to some of the additional features. So firstly, looking at the connector, the Apple iPhone 6 Plus has a lightning connector. So this is useful because you can switch it about, but it can be quite expensive. It's not universal and they can break quite easily as well. The Galaxy Note 4 has a micro USB connector. So these are very cheaply available and you can easily replace them and they're definitely a lot more universal. Now, both of these do have a, a touch sensor, so a fingerprint scanner. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has the same one as the Samsung Galaxy S5, so you have to swipe and you have to be pretty accurate. I'm not hugely impressed with this in my experience of using it. The iPhone 6 Plus has Touch ID, so this is the same as the iPhone 5S. This you just have to touch, so you don't have to swipe, and you can do it in any angle as well. So the advantage for the Touch ID feature definitely, I think, lies on the iPhone side. It has been implemented a lot better. You've also got Apple Pay, so this is something new that they've introduced. 
and you're going to be able to use NFC payments, but you're going to be able to authorize them with your Touch ID and Apple are partnering with lots and lots of providers for this. Now, the Note 4 does come with its own additional features. Firstly, you've got a heart rate sensor at the back of the device, which is going to be useful for your health apps. But the key key feature on the Note 4 is that S Pen. Now, this is something that separates it apart from lots of other devices. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but if you do want to use it, it's the most accurate pen that you're going to be getting on any smartphone. It's twice as sensitive as the previous model and you've got lots of features. So advanced multitasking on here, you can use the pen as you would do a mouse. You can take pictures of text and it will convert it into editable text on your smartphone. And the Note 4 is really known for the multitasking abilities. You can just drag from the top corner and you can pop out a window and have multiple apps running at the same time on the same screen, really utilizing that screen space as well as all of those features of the Note 4. So the S Pen is really, really nice. Now with the iPhone, the iPhone 6 Plus, they've actually gone for some features to optimize that larger screen. So for example, you've got reachability on here. So if you tap the home button twice, it's gonna bring the screen down so you can sort of get to the top of something if you need. So that's quite an interesting feature. And also when you put it in landscape mode, it's gonna work a little bit like the iPad mini where it's gonna split things and it's gonna give you a little bit better use on that larger screen. So they have gone to optimize some of the features here on the iPhone as well. Now looking at the batteries, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 3,220 milliamp battery, which is removable. So you can remove it and you can replace it. You can carry around a spare, which is a big, big advantage. With the iPhone 6 Plus, they've not specified what the exact size of the battery is. So we're not too sure about this right now. We're gonna have to wait till somebody actually opens it up and finds out what's in there. We're gonna have to put these side by side to see what the performance is like. With the Note 4, it is likely to have a larger battery compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. The other advantage that you've got with the Note 4 is that you've got fast charging. So you can go from zero to 50% in 30 minutes, which is absolutely great. So the battery advantage, I think, does go here to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 for that removable battery as well as the fast charging. Now, if I'm looking at the price, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, it's not confirmed as yet, but you're gonna be expecting to pay roughly between 600 to 650 pounds in the UK, around about $750 in the US. Now, this is based on the previous model, so the Note 3, and how much they were at the time of release, and it's expected to come early October. Now, with the iPhone, 6 plus you're going to be looking at 619 pounds for the base model or around about 750 dollars so that's for the 16 version and the iphone 6 plus is going to be available from the 19th of september we're going to be able to pick it up in store if you pre-order it on the 12th of september you're probably going to be getting it a little bit later probably around about the same time as the note 4. so those are the key differences between the samsung galaxy note 4 and the iphone 6 plus both going to be very, very popular without a doubt. Now, the Snope series is already quite established, whereas the iPhone in this sort of form factor is a new player. So it'll be interesting to see what the differences are and who goes for what. Which one do you think is better? Do you think the iPhone 6 Plus is better or do you think the Note 4 is still the king of fabulous? So do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Safar on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below. If you're still watching, then that means you've not done one of those things, so, you know, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just, I'm just gonna go um, downstairs, see. Okay, um, th there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway, so yeah.